What's good guys? It's Mr. Lotto here back with another beat tutorial video on how to render your beat. Um, so let's get started. I just have a simple beat here. Um, or pretend it's a full beat, but it's really just 16 bars. Um, just to keep it short and sweet for tutorial purposes. Um, so anyways, when you're going to render your beat, there's a few things you want to do. Um, obviously, this is after you've mixed it or you're bouncing it down to mix it or sending it to get mastered or there's a multiple to the things that you can do to just want to bounce down your beat per se. Um, so what you do is you go up to file um, and then you pretty much just go to export song as audio file. Um, you can also choose bounce mixer channels, just the bounce individual channels. Um, I'll, I'll go into both of these quick. Um, so th this is the main one. Like I'll do this when I'm just finished with my beat or song. So you'll click export song, go up here, just save it is whatever you want. I'll just do like new beat one. And then you can either save it as audio IFF file or a WAV file. I just like to go with a WAV file, but you can really choose either or. And then click save. And then it'll take you to this and I usually go with uh, 44,100 hertz um, because that's the CD quality like able for you to put it on a CD. Um, some people go with the 48,000 um, but really what all this is is quality and size of the file so the higher these numbers are the bigger the file size is going to be but the more quality as well so so you it's pros and cons to it pretty much because like think of it as um an hd video like 1080p is the the high hd quality let's say but it's the bigger file size and vice versa so it's going to sound better with higher numbers like so my bit depth i always bring it to 24 um because you can always crunch it down to 16 if you want um so this is this is normally what i go with when i bounce my beats down to either then master it or send it to get mastered or or send it out to be recorded on um, just different things like that but yeah and then you just click export and it'll export out the beat and you want to make sure that you set the end to to where you want it to end and it would just be this cursor right here but um, I'm just gonna cancel this because I'm not trying to export it yet so anyways it's pretty simple for that just to simply bounce that down um the other option too like i was saying is you can go to bounce mixer channels and here it's pretty much like the same setup i mean you can read through all this stuff but it's pretty much just true picking and choosing the individual mixer channels you want and you can also choose to um see like all except fader channels or um like the non the signal will be tapped before eq dynamics and other channels so really you can just read through these settings for each one of these that you want applied or not but like if you want to check all of them you can just check all or if you want to not have these effects on just take them off um, 
So this is pretty nice to just choose the individual ones you're looking to bounce down separately. Um, and then you can like, just like the other option before, you can just choose WAVE or I, or the IFF file. Um, and then again, your sample rate and your bit depth. Uh, and as far as dither, um, that pretty much sets boundaries on the track. Like, it's a little more complicated to explain. You'll have to pretty much just Google dither. But if you're going to get mixing and mastering done to it, um, don't have any dither applied because they'll end up applying that themselves when they're done with that. Uh, but if it's your final one, then apply dither to it. And you'll know why when you just read more into it. <laughs> I'll have to make another tutorial explaining that more in depth. But anyways, you get the gist of this. Um, and if you didn't want the song and just wanted a loop, like just a section, you know, you just set the loop parameters and choose loop instead of song. But yeah, and then just hit OK and then it'll bounce down. So those are just a few ways like you can export your tracks. And if you're, or if you're just, again, trying to just bounce down individual ones to send out, you can really just solo each one and just go file, export song, and it'll export each individual one that you have soloed to. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's other options too, like export mini file and things of that nature. And you guys, I'm sure, know more about that as well too. But this is just a more basic tutorial on how to render and bounce down your beat or song. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section. If this helped, just hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I'll have a new beat tutorial or a new type beat video coming out <clears throat> in a few days as well. So make sure to check back. Uh, I try to upload around each week with new type beats and tutorials. So I hope this helped you guys out. Thanks a lot. Peace.